Hey y'all, it's your girl Lolo. Today I am coming with a video for a 3D acrylic set. Um, this is the first video I've made in a while doing acrylic, so yeah, it didn't come out so hot, but I'm going to share it anyway um, so that you can see how I did it. So basically I mixed up white and clear acrylic and made like a milky white and then I also did a uh, glitter acrylic with some Martha Stewart red glitter and I was trying to do a marble um, it didn't really come out exactly how I wanted it so yeah um, on the pinky index and thumb I covered the whole nail and on the ring and middle finger I did like um wanted to try doing a baby boomer type ombre so I did that um for the bed of the nail I used um the Mia Secret cover pink and then um to encapsulate I used a translucent extreme pink from Beauty Secrets so, um, yeah, and I kept forgetting to hit record when I started, um, so, yeah, sorry about that. But, um, basically, uh, this video is kind of a hot mess, but, you know, I show the mess ups, I show everything, so, here we go, hope you enjoy, and thank you so much for watching. As you can see, the um, glitter really didn't marble well either, so, you know, it's a learning experience. I won't be trying that again with the glitter. Um, it probably would have worked much better if I just used, like, um, a regular color acrylic. But I kept it moving and finished up. This one you can see the whole process. I think this is like the only one I caught the whole thing. I'm so sorry. I'll be on it next time. But as you can see, like the glitter was getting everywhere. It was just pissing me off. So sorry about that. Okay, so now I'm using, at first I started with the uh, milky white, but it wasn't looking right. So then I switched to attaching them with the um, extreme pink, which worked a little bit better. And what I'm using for this is uh, strawberry fimo slices. They're actually from two different things see like that one is really cute but the other ones are kind of ugly so yeah yeah they're not as cute as the other ones but like I said we made it do what it do now at this point on the ones that I was doing the um beds I went ahead and did that with the Mia Secrets cover pink which is very pretty it has like a little sparkle to it
And now I am encapsulating the nails with the uh, high, the um, extreme pink, I'm sorry, by Beauty Secrets. Because I do want it to be like um, a little bit translucent, like it's like a milkshake, I guess. I don't know. This really didn't turn out how I wanted it, but I mean, it's kind of cute. But I have not done like encapsulated. You see, I've been doing like gel designs a lot with polish. So, you know, I'm getting back into the groove now that I have my practice hand of the acrylic. So, of course, it will get better with time. So, just be patient with me and learn from my mistakes. Something that is, feel there's something that is, feel there's something that is stopping me now. Oh, and I try to forget all what I had, but is my mind really gonna cut you out? I feel like no prayers are gonna help myself. No. You call you back, you know it's getting dark inside my head. I feel there's something that is stopping me now. Oh. Something that is, feel there's something that is, feel there's something that is stopping me now. And I'm using so much of that um, just to make sure that all of the femo are covered so that when I file and shape the nails, they do not um, get filed off. See, that's the only thing about the female slices, if you cut them too thick then you know you have to put a lot of acrylic to cover them so you want to make sure that they're thin enough but then if you curl cut them too thin then they curl up so you know you have to be really careful when you're slicing your female all right and now that i have um, encapsulated the design I am off camera going to file and shape the nails because um, they do kind of pop off when you're um, buffing them especially if you are using an electric file and um, this of course is the top coat and the finished design I do appreciate you sticking with me and watching this raggedy mess but like I said, practice makes perfect, learn from my mistakes, and we'll be back with bigger and better in another video. But y'all have a great week. Happy Monday or unhappy Monday <laughs> because it's back to work. But like I said, thanks so much for watching. There will be more to come.